Have you ever said harsh words to someone? Have you ever used negative words on someone? Have you ever said things that will make another person feel like a non-entity? That will make another person feel useless? Have you ever, do you use words that make people feel like they don't, they're not even supposed to be in existence in your life? Have you ever said things that you know that this thing will hurt you if someone else says it to you? Have you ever condemned people? Have you ever condemned anyone in a harsh manner, in a way that you would not also like? These are things that we want to quickly share with each other today on the show. My name is Oye Inka Ogunjabi and welcome to another um, episode of Moments with Oye. Today on the show, we're going to be talking about the impact of speaking negatively with others. The understanding the impact of negative words, of using negative words on people. What are the, are the, 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 the outcome? What are the things that would happen when you, you choose to talk to people in a way that they do not like, in a way that will bring them down, in a way that would, would, would annoy them, not annoying them alone, People have said words that that hurt others still today. And you see, sometimes when you use those words, when you say those things, you don't know that you are hurting them. You just feel, okay, maybe you want to get at them at that particular point in time. You may be, you may be, you may be hurting them forever. Have you said words to people that they remember? You may even have forgotten that you probably said this, you said that to them, but they, the, the receiver, the listener, do, they don't forget. They don't forget. It's like when, um, it's like when you, you see feces on, on, on the tip of your plate, you know, if you just clean it away, it's a proverb in Yoruba. If you clean it away, you clean it off. The mind is still there that, oh, clean something nasty on my plate and probably you don't have a choice that's why you still have to maybe go ahead with eating that food and stuff like that that is how it is when you say things to people when you use harsh word on people when you say things that people will remember that will hurt them for the rest of their lives let's quickly explore how harsh words gossip and constant complaints do more than just, you know, just listening, turning to sour moods and how those words can affect people, can affect their mental health, our relationship, and even our physical well-being. Negative communication can affect people. When you communicate negatively, or, or, or let me say, let me, let me use that, let me, let me create like a definition for negative communication it's like it, it includes it it's like different ways of people or different way people might talk and behave it can cause problems of or hurtful feelings when you communicate negatively you see when you criticize people in a harmful way or probably you're just spreading rumors about that person some of us we like to spread rumor that thing didn't happen we just like to spread rumor probably because we don't like that person or probably because that person has offended us our friend before then we of, we got offended by probably what they did to us or what we don't like a, about them then we start to spread rumor about them how it can negatively affect that person and how complaining a lot about somebody maybe you are complaining a lot about your wife your daughter your son your boss or your 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 worker or your colleague or a junior colleague how complaining a lot can affect people when you criticize people in a in a very harmful way you are you are damaging them um Gradually, let me quickly open that word criticism. You see, criticism can be a very harmful 
thing when it is not done kindly yes we all criticize things probably what we don't like or what we feel that people should improve on you just criticize it in a very very cool way in a very cool manner you see that moment where you start to criticize things in a very harmful way or probably it is not done kindly you see it's it points it's it's just like you want to point out what that person is doing wrong but you are not giving it in a you are not pointing it out in the right way you want to give a positive or negative feedback but you are not just doing it in the right way which can make that person feel bad they, it can make people feel unwelcome and it can make people feel unwanted whether it is at home it is in your school or probably at work when you say things in a you are just trying to probably help the person or probably somebody made something maybe the person is a caterer and they are trying to test out a recipe and they give it to you to taste for them oh hmm it's actually nice but it can be better it's different from ah what did you cook it's too salty oh this one if somebody eats it the person is going straight to everyone there are two words now you are you are just saying you are trying to make the person better but not by hurting their feelings not by killing that particular thing that dream that they want to or, or that thing they want to achieve a lot of people have killed other pe other people's dream by the just with the words of their mouth just with the things that comes out of their mouth somebody is trying to seek your opinion on something and what came out of your mouth will probably or has probably killed that person's dream no it's, there's a way to do things, there's a way to talk, there's a way to even put your words together. You have to be careful when you're criticizing things. Now, the second thing let's, that we want to quickly talk about today is gossip. How gossip can negatively damage people. You are just gossip, gossiping, you are, you are sharing unnecessary rumors. When your mouth is just supposed to be shut and you are supposed to focus on your own life, your own future, your own well-being you are spreading unnecessary rumors about people you see that rumors definitely it might not even be true and it might be true but spreading it means that you are damaging somebody's someone else's reputation you are causing lack of trust within a group of people you are you are you are, you are leading people astray by saying bad things about another person it will lead to a feeling of doubt and it will make people feel whoever you are you are spreading that rumor about they are feeling they are automatically feeling left out they are feeling like they are not important they are less important they are not up to the task they are not able to associate themselves with others especially when you spread very very you know painful rumor about people that is why people arrest each other for rumor. They, they sue them for themselves, you know, for defamation of character when you spread unnecessary rumor about people. The other thing is when you are complaining too much. Those are the three things we want to focus on today. How it can negatively affect people. Gossip, criticism, and complaining. When you are complaining too much, even if there are real issues on ground, you can create a negative atmosphere that brings down everyone when you complain too much you complain lightly and you keep quiet it's not like you are complaining and complaining and one hour stretch you are still complaining it is very very important to understand that these types of communication affect people and their relationship when when you are not able to to recognize that helping them in a very subtle manner is okay it's better to just leave them alone because when you are not able to communicate better you are not able to support somebody with your words you are not creating a happier environment you are going to even you yourself that does that you are going to be living in an unhappy environment let's quickly talk about the psychological effect of negative um, communication 